Oh, Susan, keep this short. So we're trying to get the nav up here in the upper left-hand corner. Basically, I went to CMS, Manage Pages, clicked on Alight Designs, copy HTML, pasting it. I already had it pasted here. Anyway, so now that we have this saved, you'll notice up here, this is the nav section. This is what we've hidden. And this is what controls the viewer's uh, ability to go left and right with the sliders. So let's take off this display none for right now because that's what's hiding it. Copy it. Come back here. Paste it. Save and continue edit. Refresh the home page. Boom. We have our navigation. Great. So in order to get a different image in the background, I'm going to undo what I did. Copy. So I pasted that in there. I'm going to save and continue it so that users don't see the navigation right now because we don't have other images. Boom, great. So you can see that the navigations are calling slide one. Well, this slide one is referring to right here, this ID slide one. So that, that hash slide one is saying, when the user clicks this link, take us to this panel's ID slide one. You can create as many of these as you want. I limit it to three, four maybe. But anyway, so we got that going. You notice we have a link. We also have an image. The way I set these up is that these use home.css, which is in skin, front end, default, a light, CSS, home. So in home CSS, we see that slide one as a background image of home hero onejpg So that image is in media, which is in the root, images, home hero onejpg So you'd upload you'd upload your new sliders up into here. I believe the size is yeah, 940 by 400 pixels, so don't make them bigger than that. Otherwise it'll just be clipped off. Upload them into here as different names and then change the names here. So you do two or whatever, and then save the CSS and overwrite the existing one. So anyway, that's how you go about doing that. And right now, if we look at the, the details of what's inside this panel div of slide one, is that we have the link, and that link is surrounding an image, but the source I'm using is a spacer.gif, so it's just a transparent pixel, and it has a width of nine, 60 by 400. Let's make that 940. So that's what it should be. 940 by 400. And basically that's just putting an image over top of this to give us a button. The reason why I do that is because you can put any type of HTML in this. And I was thinking that we might have want to have text so that, you know, the SEO Robots would see it and read more content, all that jazz. But this is just, you can put any HTML in here. So don't feel like you just have to put images. It might be easier for you if you just do images, but just keep that in mind in the future. Anyhow, so now that I have this all dialed in, and again, you would just basically you copy that, paste in the next one, just change it to go somewhere else, like designer... I believe that has a blog in front of it. Blah, blah, blah. Change the alt tag, of course. Change the title. Like, get your skills by playing with us. Yada, yada, yada. Have all that stuff set. And that would then use whatever you set up for panel two, background image, and it would link based on what you put in the href. So anyway, my time is running out on this, so I'm just going to copy that 940 guffaw, paste it back in here, refresh, everything's working fine, and that's about it. Cheers.